I've been doing this surgery for over 20 years with my partner, Dr. Jack Stern. And what we've noticed is that a lot of our patients have the surgery and are in their car going home within four or five hours after the procedure. And we call this the five hour displacement. The five hour displacement is divided into three stages. The first is a pre-op stage, which lasts about 30 minutes. The second is the actual procedure, which covers a span of time of about two and a half hours. And the last is the recovery phase, which covers two hours. The first stage in the five hour displacement is the pre-op stage. And this is where you'll meet the staff at the facility or hospital where the procedure is going to be done. And they will go over the procedure with you, as well as making sure that all your preoperative labs and studies are in order. You'll sign the consent form for the procedure. You'll also meet the surgeon who's going to do the procedure and have an opportunity to ask questions. Then you'll meet the anesthesiologist who will explain to you what's going to happen with the anesthesia and this would be a good time for you to ask questions and also tell the anesthesiologist if you've had any problems with prior surgery. Once this is done, you'll be taken from the holding area up to the area where the procedure will actually be done. So in this case, let's look at the clock, and it's about 5 to 12, and we're on our way to start stage 2 of the 5-hour disc replacement, which is the procedure. And now that you're actually in the operating room, there's a lot of setting up that has to be done. Anesthesia is given, which takes about 20 minutes, and then the neck is prepped, and we're ready for us to scrub our hands. So now it's 12.30. Sterile draping is done and all the equipment is set up and now we're ready to start the procedure. You'll see now it's about 12.40, so it's taken about 35 minutes so far and we haven't even started the procedure. Once we start, things move along pretty quickly. We have to make the approach to the spine so we can bring in the microscope. This is microsurgery and it's done very carefully so that we can provide very good exposure for the area that will have the disc replaced. This takes approximately 40 minutes, and then we're done. Dr. Stern, at this point, you can see, is breaking out of his sterile gown, and I'm getting ready to do the plastic surgery closure. And here you can see the final x-ray with the disc spacer in place. It's five after two, and it's taken us less than an hour and a half to finish the surgery. Once the surgery is completed, you're then transferred to what we call the PACU, or Post Anesthesia Care Unit, which was formerly known as the Recovery Room for the remainder of your stay, which is now stage three of the five-hour disc replacement. At 2.40, you're waking up from the anesthesia comfortably in the PACU and being monitored by the nurses there. Now, every patient is different. And of course, if a patient has to stay longer in the hospital, we'll keep the patient in the hospital. Complications can occur with surgery, which of course will lead to a longer hospital stay. I came in, I think, at 6.30 in the morning, and I was home by 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which is perfect because I'd much rather be at home Feeling and up. relaxing than being in a hospital bed or something, so it was really good. It was good. But I don't think it was too soon at all. The worst part about it was actually being anxious about the surgery. Um, I was, I think, out of the operating room at about 3 o'clock, and I was in a car on my way home at 5 o'clock. I prefer to go home the same day. I okay. think that you heal better when you're at home in your home environment. Right. It gets hard to heal at a hospital. My friend picked me up and I was talking with him the whole way to New Jersey. It was like about business and you know, he said, how are you sure you did surgery? <laughs> they, really? Uh, they scratch you or <laughs> what? Yeah, I went home with no pain. The procedure. I came in at yeah. 1 o'clock and we were back in the car at like 4.30, 5 o'clock. And was that rushed or was that okay? I mean, no, 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 no. I was fine. Yeah. yeah. I came out of surgery, I sat there for about an hour and you guys made sure I was yeah. okay to go and then I split. Um, I went home that same day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was only there for a few hours. And was that early? Was that rushed or was that... If, no, that, um, that was you know, they welcomed me to stay if I needed to, if I mm -hmm. felt like I, I um, couldn't go home, but... And, and your I mom was with you. I remember she took good care of you, right? My mom was okay. uh, very excited for me to okay. go home that night. So. <laughs> and went home the same day and then within a couple of days I was uh, pretty much back to uh, normal. Oh. Okay. So good. It was good. Yeah. It was amazing. I got out of the, out of the surgery operating room uh, right. when I woke up. Essentially, I was ready to go. I was uh, back at work full time about a week after work after the surgery. Yeah. I, I would just recommend you guys because I, I, this was one of the best experiences I've ever had, and you know it, it couldn't have gone any better. Uh, everything went smooth from the surgery itself to the post op, and uh, you guys were wonderful.